really excited. I'm really excited. We're actually gonna get paint on the car today. So this is our, our spray gun. It's an old spray gun, works just fine. We're gonna use it. Um, this is the first time I've ever used it for auto body paint. And then this is the moisture filter we're gonna be installing. Uh, so far, we're just using the air gun in light use. I haven't had any moisture come out, but I don't know if maybe it's something to do with prolonged usage. When we were using the media blaster, I was getting moisture in the tip. So I'm gonna put this on to hopefully minimize that possibility. And then we'll hook up the line and we can start shooting primer. And now let's just do a leak test. No leaks. So I was really excited about getting moved on and actually getting the paint into the gun and, and starting the process. In my excitement, I did forget to read the instructions and assumed that straight out of the can meant straight out of the can. And unfortunately, I didn't shake it. And as you'll see in a second, I, uh, I pay the price for that. All right. I didn't shake it. It didn't say shake. So just a quick note, make sure you shake the can like it says in the instructions. Four. Just, just, just thought I'd mention that. So we're applying the stage one primer for the paint shop uh, setup, basically because it's a lacquer based primer and this hopefully should prevent any reactions with the paint once we actually move on to the color stage. So at this point, I may be pressing my luck a little bit. As you can see, I'm not getting a perfectly consistent coverage, but that was never really the plan. Uh, my goal was, as you'll see in the next clip, basically just to get enough coverage of paint on the actual panel itself, since the goal was to come in and uh, wet sand the actual paint back before we actually did the clear coat. So the, the wet sanding, the purpose of the wet sanding is on the can, it says if you're gonna dry sand, you have to wait several hours, but if you're wet sanding, uh, pretty much just about 30. I, I might be off the cuff here. I might actually be wrong, but the period was much shorter. And there you can see how reflective the hood looks just with water on it. So this was uh, encouraging to me that once we actually sprayed the clear on it, it was going to be a very, very consistent sheen on the actual hood. Uh, okay. So, uh, oh, you won't hear me. Okay. So sorry, my glasses are off. It's been a long day. I had to fix the compressor again, as you can hear it going off in the background. Uh, so we've got clear in. I've wet sanded uh, with 600 and then 800. We got clear in the gun. We're gonna try shooting in an inconspicuous area and see how it looks and then we'll go from there. So as you can see, the clear is actually coming out really, really nice when it's moist. Uh, I, I didn't use, I used all of the different um, paints straight out of the can. I didn't filter them or strain them and I didn't dilute them with any paint thinner it was the primer the, the paint and the clear all through the same gun i did clean the gun in between the gun i was using was very old and i've actually used it for i've never used it for auto body paint i've used it for wood stain but it seemed to work really good it worked best with the clear the paint and the primer seemed to give me some weird orange peel almost as i was painting but the clear came out much, much more consistent. You can see there, it's, it's, it's almost nearing a mirror finish. 
it's gonna need first certain it's gonna need wet sanding but i was i was overall I was very very happy with the results keep in mind also that we're doing this not in a paint booth and we're outside and it's not in still air we're spraying in wind so that was the biggest thing that we, that we were worried against we were worried about like a bug landing on it a leaf something like that but just the wind blowing against the actual stream of paint coming out of the gun was the single most impactful factor we were dealing with all day. Okay, so trying to keep this outro short. Long story short, what did we what did we cover? Uh, we I forgot to hit record on the camera, so you guys didn't see me install our second mirror that I kind of did as a time killer while the, while the third coat was drying. What we did do, I don't know if you can hear the compressor in the back, it's still leaking. We weren't able to truly fix it, but we got it at least working. We got the hood painted. We got the hood, we, we corrected and sanded and applied more glazing putty and primer. Then we primed at the paint shop, step one. We did three coats of black, we did four coats of clear, and um, we were gonna wet sand it, but on the back of the can it says to let it cure for at least 36 to 48 hours. A wet sanding is gonna have to wait till another day. It looks good. There is a little bit of orange peel, which I expected just because that was the, like I didn't expect it to be perfect. So the fact that, that all I'm dealing with is orange peel, I'm kind of like, no big deal. We're gonna wet sand that anyways. Paint worked out great. I think if anything, the thing that let me down is my old gun. I see a lot of reviews, people talking about these like cheap $9, $15 guns at Harbor Freight. We might give one of those a shot because we have to paint the other side of the car where there was a little bit of rust that we kind of took care of. If you guys are stuck with us, uh, thank you so much. You guys are legends if you've made it this far and I appreciate your time if I've earned it. Thank you again for making it this far. This is, we really appreciate your time. We're trying to incorporate more vlogging into the channel. So if you liked our video, give us a like. If we've earned a subscription, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future upcoming videos. And as always, I'm Alfred for Crooked Mustache. Thanks for watching. Dale.